Boeing has shared its plans with the FAA on how it will fix certain safety and quality issues. Yeah, the FAA ordered this plan after a door panel blew off of an Alaska Air Airlines plane in January. ABC's Christian Cordero has the details from Washington. Today, Boeing has delivered a safety roadmap three months in the making. The company's detailed plan includes weekly meetings between Boeing and the FAA, more inspectors at Boeing facilities, and a limit on plane production over at least the next several months. The flying public should feel that we're uh, increasing our oversight to an appropriate level with Boeing. Uh, we certify each aircraft right now coming out off of the line, so we're ensuring that those airplanes are safe. Boeing told the FAA it has enhanced employee training, increased internal audits, and its system for employees to report safety concerns. The FAA says it will continue to monitor Boeing's progress. The FAA ordered this report after a door plug blew off of an Alaska Airlines 737 MAX 9 plane earlier this year. Federal investigators said all four crucial bolts designed to hold the door plug in place were never there. The NTSB's preliminary report found the door plug was removed during manufacturing to address a separate issue in the fuselage. When the door plug was reinstalled, the NTSB says the bolts were never put back on, prompting the FAA to urge Boeing to make changes. The current system is not working because it's not delivering safe aircraft. The incident has led to several investigations and to Boeing's CEO announcing he'd step down at the end of the year. In that announcement, he vowed Boeing would fix what isn't working. Today, the FAA announced in addition to the weekly meetings with Boeing leaders, it'll meet with the outgoing CEO quarterly and conduct monthly reviews. Bottom line, we will continue to make sure every airplane that comes off the line is safe and reliable, regardless of how many planes Boeing builds. The FAA hasn't set a timeline on when it will lift Boeing's manufacturing cap, but it is expected to last at least the next several months. Christiane Cordero, ABC News, Washington.